Over here, uh, here at my, my home spot called the uh, Blue Springs Pollen Spot, um, Valley View Rock Garden, whatever. It's a little overgrown right here, but there's rocks on the other side of the little creek. And then if you walk this path back there into the woods, there's a bunch of hill climbs. Anyways, it's not why we're here today. We're here because of this truck right here. This is my 1-9 bomber. Ultra 4. I've got it set up to try and do some creepy crawly. Uh, crawling, at least the best I can with this motor and set up and speed control. Right now it's uh, got a Mamba X in it. It has the Castle Slate 2850 kV motor running on 3S. Um, the battery the battery is not quite what I want it to be. I finally used a buddy's little, actually I was over at Dinky RC's house, uh, Matt's house, uh, what was it, two days ago, and he has these little 1900 three cell packs, but they're 85C, and these ones are, the one I have right here is a 4000 soft pack, it's a Venom, it's 20C, it's decent size, you know, it's really small, it's actually smaller than some 2S packs, and it's got the punch of a 3S. Well, that discharge rating, uh, that 85C is way, way noticeable. Um, I get more punch right off the get-go with that battery. I have better startup, so uh, I have slower, smoother startups when I really want a creepy crawl. And when I punch it full throttle, I feel like I have more RPMs. So that output definitely does make a difference now. Granted, it's less than half the milliamp hours, but heck, that's all right. Just buy a few of those little packs. Anyways, uh, I don't know how I got to talking about that. Yeah, I guess I was just saying I was over at Matt's house driving it and I noticed a big difference. So I think I'm gonna have to invest in some more batteries and go with smaller packs now. I kind of always, I've usually always ran big battery packs, but just because that's what I always had. I like to have run time. I started out with racing short course trucks a few years back, and I was always running on 2S, but I'd run, you know, like a 7,000 or 7,600 size pack, 100C. So I'd run for a long time, and I'd have my truck set up to where they didn't get hot. Okay. This is deceiving. Walk around this side so you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, almost slipped and fell. Testing out for the first time these new tires. I've got super swampers at home, but I've just got them in the G6 compound. These are the new Predator compound. Uh, no real difference if you're looking at it. They're, I should, I should take that back. If you look at it really close and hold the tires together, uh, a G6 compound brand new and a Predator compound brand new, you're gonna notice a difference in the uh, kind of the pattern on the rubber but we're talking like super small pattern it's basically the you know we're saying the texture of it so that's all I noticed but uh, the tire is way softer definitely softer um, if you're running on some jagged rock you're definitely gonna see holes in them a lot quicker just like with the pit bulls the uh, alien compound which I think the alien compound I am going to call myself pro-line bias, but that being said, uh, I have had the 1.9 Rock Beast, I've had the Mad Beast, I've had the 1.9 Rock Beast XLs with the Alien Compound, I've had the Rock Beast in 2.2s, um, I've, the best tire I've actually had so far was a Buddy's 2.2 Pitbull Growler, and I cut them. And the way I cut them, I mean, you'd just be driving in a straight line on rock and you could hear them just barking at you. God damn it. Sorry, there's trash down here I haven't picked up yet. 
there's a sewer right there so when or it's a water runoff mainly but whenever we do get a hard rain people that litter up there by the road it comes down through here it kind of sucks anyways uh i i've used pit bull tires i have two sets at my house right now one's even mounted on a set of wheels all for itself i like the tires I wish they were better. Everybody tells me, oh, you gotta break them in, you gotta break them in. Well, okay, how long does it take to break them in? I've, I've put hours on them and hours. You can see clear, obvious, you know, use. All the tread in both directions is burnt up a little bit from being used. I gotta say, uh, I'm pretty impressed with how good this compound is so far. I'm gonna find out real quick because this is not an easy climb. Usually you have to bump into the throttle, which, because look, yeah, it'll pick up the chassis. And just flip you over backwards. Usually you gotta do one of these numbers. Ooh, perfect. I landed right on it. Yeah, this is what's so cool about this obstacle. Is right now it's all four tires on rock. Nothing, no chassis dragging. I'd say for the wet, I'm not seeing a huge difference between the other compound. But then again, I haven't, I've never driven this truck up that obstacle, so this is a bit lighter than my rock bouncer or my 1.9 race. How much time are we at here? Ooh, 7.04. I've got you guys for 10 minutes. Or you got me, depending on how you're looking at it, if you actually enjoy my videos. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to speed up a little bit so we get over to the co-op school. Ones on the way. Hey, my buddy Kyle, if you're watching, uh, Kyle W. I won't put you out there that much and say your last name. Man, I ain't fucking beefing with you, bro. Um, my only irritation with you, buddy, is just remember the conversations we've had in the past. That's why I got so frustrated with you last time we talked. I bring this up, I know it's kind of weird right now, but you might be watching, so, and I appreciate it because you did watch before we had our little argument or whatever you want to call it, and you would comment on my videos, and I appreciate that. So, anyways, I'm cool with you, it's whatever. Still got time. Yep. Let's see if I can get down this without tipping. I would be very happy. Planted. Almost over. 20 seconds. Coming back.
be enjoyed.